Hi, today what we're going to be looking at is this little keyboard here and uh, just some build notes to help, help people uh, build it. So this is essentially my version of the Contra uh, where I've taken the, the Contra design files and the um, and, and adapted it so that we can actually use Bluetooth on it. And so what I'll show you here is uh, open it up uh, and, the, and the, the, the design is actually identical except a few little things. Uh, when I built the original Contra, there were only a handful of, uh, of uh, standoffs right here. So I decided to add a little bit more to reduce on the, the board flex. So there's a little bit more, uh, less flexibility here, but let me open it up here so that we can go and see inside. Uh, and is this the right side? Yeah, that'll do. So let me uh, open things up right here. Because uh, being a wireless board, uh, what's important is actually know what's different between the Contra and this one to be able to essentially connect the blue micro and to um, to build it now what you can do is follow the exact same instructions as the contra so to essentially build uh, the contra uh, build the um, essentially like all the switches put the diodes on in place uh, put um, the st the standoffs to put the um, what are those things called again? Uh, to put the, um, okay, so there it is. So let me just kind of like put a, a note here. So you can see the board, it's actually this in the middle. And when you just flip it up, you can see the pro micro, blue micro, the little switches on this side. Uh, so let me have this here and what I have is one like special uh, I've put an external antenna just for testing whether it would work or not but you can see the location right here uh, where the external switch uh, is installed uh, and I have a big massive battery because just I have it in, I had it in stock but if you have a smaller battery um, it'll be, be able to be installed right here as well. So whenever you plug it in, it actually, uh, power goes through the raw pin uh, and then uh, through the switch. And then let me just get the antenna. Let's move it a little bit over so you can see here. Uh, you don't need the antenna. You can just use a regular one. And then you can see right here, it's not like the, the prettiest job, but there are two little, uh, uh, like a, a stand of a, a connector to be able to connect the uh, the battery. So there's a the one closer to the inside is the positive, and the one closer to the outside right here is the negative. Now, if you look very carefully on the entire board, what I have done on my board here is all of the pins or all of the diodes are surface mount. I like surface mount diodes there. I got, I got what I need to, to solder those. So it's, it's easy for me. But if you have the through hole pins, you can put the diodes on this side. So if you ever flip them around, then um, it's easy. Now, one of the main difference with the Contra is I don't have all that, um, all of that, um, those memes. Because uh, one of the issues that I found with those memes uh, on the PCB was it was actually hiding the direction of the diodes. So one of the key pieces for the direction of the diodes that applies blow to the Contra on this one is, and I think if I remember well, I did replace all the diodes to be able to support surface mount and just regular uh, through hole diodes. So what I have done is I have, so the square pad is and you can see the band is all lined up together. So now with this uh, like redesigned Contra is you can easily identify which side uh, is a diode um, uh, and, and such. So, so 
what I have done to assemble the battery, so you may want to take notes on this, is um, uh, if you I'm going to just kind of flip it around, is just like this. I use what's called um, just some like packing material foam to just like clear off the the pins of the um, of the switches. But also on both sides, so I cut that foam to be the same size as the battery. But then on both sides of that foam, I simply apply double sticky tape. Um, so I have a big roll of tape for gluing carpets. So it's not really tape, it's more like glue with some fibers. And you can see some little red fibers here with some fibers to make it a little bit more uh, rigid. So it's essentially glue to stick carpet carpets down um, and it's um it's not in a tape form so it's a tape you have you unroll it you p apply it to one side then there's a, a little paper back that you peel and you have access to the the glue part on the other side and then i just cut it to the size of the of the battery or the or the foam and then apply that to both sides and then that makes it like very very solid it, it's it's not it really doesn't want to move. Uh, it's made for carpets, so it's actually made for you to walk on it. So it's um, it's it, it will not move. It's if you ever want to peel the battery off, um, it's very very sticky glue. It's very like rubbery or gummy. Um, it's actually kind of difficult to clean up. It's possible to clean with I think alcohol or something like that, but it's um, it makes it like very easy to to assemble and put together so in summary we've got the battery wires connected to um, these little uh, connectors here now these so there's a uh, if i'm gonna zoom on it let me just zoom and hopefully it'll get um, uh, right here let me just try to get the focus Oh, I don't have the manual focus. Let me just see here. Maybe a little bit too close for the focus to be done. Ah, there it is. There it is. Okay, so you can see right here. So I've got a little square pad and a round pad. I know I, I've got some flux residue here, but the round pad is neg negative and the square pad is positive. Now, if you have, and let me just pull out, this is the, the new blue micro 2.1 um, and I'll just put the battery uh, antenna here we've got the switch the reset switch right on the edge I think the Contra had um, the, the design of a Contra had the sets battery the switch uh, in the middle somewhere like around here so I moved it to be accessible from the side so the standoffs are there's eight standoffs as opposed to how many were there like Six, I think uh, so that's another difference another difference with the Contra is the size and let me just make sure it's off so I don't type on it so is the size of the holes so if you look carefully uh, the size of the hole here is actually smaller than the screw head so you need to assemble the standoffs before you install the switches and then you'll still have access to retighten the the, uh, the standoffs after but you need to install those screws uh, and standoffs first so that makes it easier then you can install the switches after that now let's go and zoom on here and what I'll do there's a little right right here and let me get a brand new one so it's a, so you can compare uh, so if you have the blue micro 2.1 you will see this now the blue micro 2 2.0 c is connected but the blue micro 2.1 is not and you can see and let me just use a little uh, 
something else here so you can see right here yeah these are bent a bit let me just go like this so so right here so this is the jumper that we need to connect the raw pin right here to the input of the battery so what you can see is i've got my battery coming from here going to there through the switch that is uh, surface mount right on the edge here so all you need to do is connect uh, these guys here and then the switch will be uh, active and then this gets rooted to the raw pin then when you install your blue micro on you need to essentially have a little solder bridge just like what i have here to connect it to the this raw pin right there so that raw pin uh, now is connected to the battery charger so that whenever you plug in uh, your blue micro uh, your, your computer to the blue micro it'll be able to get recharged uh, through there so if you forget this little pin got this guy here uh, it won't recharge you'll it only gonna work with uh, it connected because it's gonna get its power through USB for it to be able to get its power through the battery this little jumper needs to be put in place. So it's a solder bridge. Uh, obviously the switch uh, and this has to be put in place and then this has to be soldered. So the positive here in this case is this uh, square pad. And um, that kind of covers some of the more important notes that are a little bit different than the, um, the Contra. Uh, what you will probably also have is uh, these uh, and let me just zoom out a little bit uh, what you will probably have uh, is these standoffs uh, and then I to get it off of the standoffs I usually use actually tweezers and you can see it's got a very very narrow shape like this so I usually just insert them like this and then as you can see or not see it kind of gives a little bit opening on the edge where it can get it in and go to the other side and it doesn't get it through so I'm just gonna get it off like this and then it's slowly you can see now it's like much more now I can insert tweezers like that to get a little bit of force then now as it gets a little bit more open so you can see now it's uh, accessible i've put this tape here just to essentially protect against shorting against those pins uh, it doesn't happen all the time but i find it as a good precaution just to take care of uh, in any case and as you can see these are essentially diode legs that i can like push through with some ma i put some masking tape painter's tape uh, i essentially punch little holes uh, put diode legs put this on then uh, solder de them in uh, then cut them up and then I can easily pull it off get the masking tape out uh, apply this uh, red this is electrical tape or like some kind of plastic tape um, just to prevent those connections and then that's about it and I think that that tape helps just hold the uh, the wires in place and uh, Essentially, this, these are the notes on the Contra, uh, how to uh, to assemble it and make sure that it's all in place. So, um, if you had a Pro Micro, uh, the assembly instructions would essentially be identical to the Contra, perhaps with the exception of the the size of the holes uh, for the standoffs, where you need to assemble, put the standoffs together before you put in the switches. Um, and apart from that, that's about it. Well, I hope this helps, uh, and then uh, I'll post this as it is unedited uh, as, a, uh, as a note uh, on the uh, YouTube channel. And um, if you get any questions, just put, uh, like, uh, like put them down, and then uh, I'll uh, answer them uh, over there. So uh, have a good day, and uh, good luck with your, your build. Thanks.